Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana. And in this very brief three to five minute video, I would like to talk with you about the prostate ultrasound and prostate biopsy. In this video, I am going to describe the procedure what preparations you need to take before the procedure, and what you can expect after the procedure has been completed. The purpose of a prostate ultrasound and biopsy is to evaluate an elevation of the PSA blood test, or if you have an abnormal finding on the digital rectal examination test is very easy to perform in the doctor's office where a probe is placed into the rectum which uses sound waves to create an image of the prostate gland. The biopsy is performed using very tiny uh, biopsy needles that are specially created to take a small piece of tissue of the prostate which is then sent to the laboratory for examination under the microscope. The night before the procedure and the morning of the procedure you will be asked to take an enema that you should hold for about five minutes. You will also be given an antibiotic to take before the procedure. If the procedure is done in the morning, I would recommend that you have a very light breakfast, such as coffee and perhaps a piece of toast. Please inform your doctor if you have any allergies, if you have a heart valve, or if you are taking blood thinners, as we would want to discontinue those medications prior to the biopsy. I also caution you not to take any aspirin, aspirin products, or any anti-inflammatory drugs for seven to ten days prior to the procedure. The procedure is done here in the doctor's office and is performed with a technician as well as with the physician. The procedure takes between 10 and 20 minutes. A local anesthetic is inserted into the rectum at which time six to ten biopsies are taken. The procedure does cause a minor amount of discomfort but it is usually transitory and does not persist for a very long period of time. After the procedure you will be asked to drink six to eight glasses of water. You can expect a small amount of blood in the urine in the stool or when you wipe after having a bowel movement and it also may appear in the semen for several days after the procedure. I caution you not to take any aspirin, aspirin products, blood thinners or anti-inflammatory medication for several days after the procedure or until the urine has completely cleared of blood. You will also be instructed to take an antibiotic for approximately two to three days after the procedure. You can safely resume all activities when the urine and stool are without blood. I would like for you to contact the physician if you have a temperature greater than 100 degrees after the procedure, if you have difficulty urinating, if the blood in the urine does not clear after drinking extra volumes of water or liquids. Most men will experience a minimal discomfort or problems after the procedure. You will also be asked to make an appointment with the office to go over the pathology report in approximately one week after the procedure has been performed. I know you may have some additional questions regarding the ultrasound of the prostate gland and the prostate biopsy. I would like to encourage you to go to my website www.neilbaum.com 
or contact my office at 504-891-8454 for any additional questions. Thank you.